Welcome back, Appletini. This is Lou from Lou's Lobby. We're here with Kitty, digital artist, illustrator, and speed painter. Now, I personally wasn't 100% sure what a speed painter was, and I didn't want to look like a fool, so I asked her. You'd be so kind as to explain to us. Of course, yes. So, as a speed painter, generally what I, I do is I'll be drawing and then I'll also be recording myself at the same time. And then once I'm done drawing, I'll throw that into my editing program. I use Movie Maker because I don't believe in spending money. So, yeah, I speed up that recording basically. I speed it up about 15 times or so and then I upload that to YouTube. So, what that basically does is it condenses a few hours of work into minutes. And that's what's going on on this iPad here. Um, <coughs> That is actually watching one of my uh, Evolution stickers get made. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So right now we're actually watching that piece get made in real time. So that's kind of what I do. That's what I've um, been doing on YouTube probably since about uh, my junior year of high school now. So I'm about five years into it. All yeah. Right, good. I didn't want to ask. I was always <laughs> raised not to ask a woman her age. So leave oh, that please. In, right? I'm 20. Yep. <laughs> so young. So old. All right. So what got you? into choosing to do digital art? Oh God, Warrior Cats. <laughs> yeah, so Warrior Cats, kind of a cult classic kind of thing, has an absolutely massive fan base, probably the most creative people I've ever met. I can't even begin to tell you how many artists I know who've gotten their start in Warriors. I started drawing these cats, it was all downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know we spoke earlier, I asked you, did you prefer digital to yeah. paper or traditional? Yep. Yeah, so I prefer digital personally because I think you have a lot more flexibility in terms of what you can do. You know, you can do stuff with the colors, with the rendering that you kind of just can't do with traditional media. And you know, I think it's kind of more of a preference thing than anything. I just prefer it because of color flexibility because I'm obnoxious with these colors. And um, it's also because, you know, my drawing tablet, the programs I use, those are one-time investments. You do a traditional art, you're going to have to keep going out and buying that media over and over and over again, those materials. So if you're doing digital art you know the tablet the programs they'll pay for themselves if you yeah just give it a little time yeah i can't i can't argue i i have an app on my phone it has an option for copic markers so you get the colors oh, yeah, yeah. and copics are like 10 20 dollars a pop unless you get them on sale you get a six pack for like 60 dollars yeah i work at michael's we sell them there yeah it's <laughs> that's obnoxious. usually where we yeah. get them from yep yeah and i walk around and they can attest they can attest they were witnesses i unfortunately forgot to wear my merchandise today yeah. so i had to make a label <laughs> and they saw me pull out one two three four pouches and a big gallon size ziploc bag of art pens pencils brush pens everything out my bag yeah. just to make one label and use three mm -hmm. colors yep. it's frustrating where if i whip out the ipad or yeah. i whip out my phone i have the whole rainbow of a selection yeah. And it's all in the palm of my hand compared to a giant backpack that's breaking my back. Yep, and that does have its own problems too, like the CMYK conversion, because as a digital artist, I'm drawing with a light. I think, I'd say the advantage traditional media mm -hmm. users have is they're working with just regular old ink. You know, yeah. you want to print that out, you don't have to worry about the colors, because I'm transitioning from drawing with light to um, printing with ink. Okay. So that can means the colors can look a little different. Like, you know, that doesn't look like that on the computer. That looked much different. Yeah, that looked much different. So the colors just look different because it's going from light to ink. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any new projects in the works you want to tell our fans about? Um, no, mostly just kind of beefing up my con portfolio because this is my first convention ever. I, it's been yeah, it's been amazing so far. All right. um, yeah, kind of beefing up what I have here. I want to put in more fan art. I want to put in more original art because I'm surprised at how well my original art did today. Yeah, it's actually nice. that piece with the bee was actually my best seller. Yeah, today. It's a beautiful piece. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So that's mostly just kind of working on what I've already worked to create here today. So would you say this con, your first con, has inspired you to continue doing the cons? Yeah. I, I mean, I when I was like still in like the year gap between I when I found out about Indian Con and today, um, I people would tell me, you know, once you start doing conventions, it's addicting. They're right. Okay, you do one, you're done. I, I, I plan on doing this for quite. A I cannot argue that. I've been working with the crew for a little while and I love coming to these things. Yeah. It's a whole different world. Everybody's always friendly, yeah. it's always positivity, yeah, it's and really everybody's nice. always helping each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's a really nice community that we kind of have here. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we say goodbye, is there. Tell us where we can find you. 
Um, so my name is Katie Skeletal. I am across seven platforms, YouTube, DeviantArt, Twitter, Tumblr, Fur Affinity, Instagram, and Redbubble. So you can find me on any of that. You want to contact me, my email is kittyskeletal at gmail.com. Okay. Yep. Go back a second. Did uh -huh. you say, okay, you said DeviantArt. DeviantArt, YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, Fur Affinity, Instagram, and Redbubble. Fur Infinity, what is Fur it? Affinity. Fur Affinity is, it's a furry website, you know. Okay. I, I started out with Warrior Cats, I and I do take commissions, and yeah, furries have been a huge part of, like, a huge chunk of the people commissioning yeah. me. Yeah, they're, they're, furries are wonderful people to work with. They have a bad reputation, but they are excellent clients. All right, so now this poses a question. question. What is the strangest commission you've gotten so far? Strangest commission I've gotten or strangest commission I've been asked to do? Strangest uh, commission, strangest picture you've been asked to draw for someone. I mean, I'd say it's a two-way tie because the first would be when someone asked me to do fat fetish porn, I declined. Um, okay. Yeah. The other time would be, um, you know, like I absolutely, you know, this is more funny where I'm more than like, oh, <laughs> how embarrassing. I just think it's yeah. funny. Um, there was, I get commissioned to draw this character. Um, it's like, it's a wolf. It's got a necklace around its tail, if that makes any sense. It's got like a okay. yin yang pendant on the end of it. It's immediately, the second I see it, it reminds me of um, this thing they sell for cats. Okay, this, okay. this, I hate that I'm going to say this. You know how you'll be petting a cat and they're like sticking your butt in their, the, yeah. like their butt in your face? Yeah. They have a pendant that you can put around the cat's tail and the little charm will land on the surface of the bat. You know. Okay. Yes. So you don't have to look at it. And the second I saw it, I was like, oh my God, you gave this wolf a butthole necklace. I, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, client. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so that, was, that wasn't that was really like weird as much as it was just a funny thing that happened. Yeah, I'm yeah. drawing a blank now. I had no, I yeah. had nothing to follow up that with. <laughs> Still think wow. about it all the time, Tom. Yep. Now I know I'm going to be looking for that in Petco. Thank you for that. Yes, Now I know, have you to blame. It is a pleasure. Yes, it We look great, forward Tom. to seeing you at the other cons. Yeah. Um, as you know, you can catch us at Benton Apple TV. Awesome. See you guys around.